ARM, Taiwan Semi, NVIDIA among possible winners in new chip development. News that NVIDIA and AMD could sell PC chips using architecture from ARM Holdings is a mixed bag for several companies involved, analysts said. As the world continues to move away from the office, power saving is becoming key, and ARM offers benefits in power saving, Wedbush Securities analyst Matt Bryson said. Tapping NVIDIA and AMD to jump on the ARM architecture bandwagon is helpful to create a better product and increase the supply chain for Microsoft, Bryson explained. Microsoft doesn't want Apple taking share because they have a hardware advantage, Bryson said in a phone interview on Tuesday. It makes a ton of sense to diversify the supply chain. ARM architecture had been considered inferior to Intel's x86, but Apple has proved that it can produce solid ARM-based processors, according to Bryson. Conversely, most Windows-based PCs run on processors designed and created by Intel using x86 architecture. Earlier this week, it was reported that ARM-based chips from NVIDIA and AMD could be available on the market as soon as 2025. AMD already makes processors using x86 architecture, which is owned by Intel. Qualcomm has made ARM-based chips for laptops for several years, but still generates the vast majority of its QCT revenue from smartphones. While both NVIDIA and AMD stand to gain from developing new CPUs, the latter would add relatively more relevant revenue than NVIDIA, which has seen its revenue soar thanks to artificial intelligence, Bryson explained. New ARM architecture CPU producers would be a negative for Intel, according to investment firm Truist. The market for PC CPUs has long been dominated by Intel, as research firm IDC estimates the company holds a 75% market share with its x86 architecture. AMD may hold a 15% share based on Truist's estimations, also using an x86 architecture. We estimate the remaining 10% of the market is served by ARM architecture suppliers, including Apple at 8%, Qualcomm and other smaller suppliers, Truist analysts led by William Stein wrote in a note. The implied total addressable market size is more than $30 billion. Intel's x86 popularity came from its leadership in manufacturing that began in the early 1990s. As that leadership ended a few years ago, competing ARM-based risk architectures have become increasingly attractive alternatives, Truist said. The bank is also skeptical about AMD as it cannot confirm the move with industry contacts, and such a move is harder to explain, in our view, the analyst said without providing further detail. Truist said that for each 10% share of the market NVIDIA captures, it could add 41 cents, or roughly 4%, to earnings per share. While it's important to note that NVIDIA's success in this market is far from preordained, and will be a real challenge to achieve, the benefits will extend beyond this first-order analysis financial impact, the analyst said. The reason is that, if NVIDIA captures the CPU slot, and if AI becomes a more prominent compute workload on the client, it is zero today really, then NVIDIA is likely to drive incremental discrete GPU sales into non-gaming PCs, which would further expand NVIDIA's market. New producers would mean a great share of the PC market for ARM, increasing its total addressable market, which comprises mostly smartphones, Wedbush's Bryson said. Additionally, Taiwan Semiconductor should benefit as any ARM solutions are likely to be made in Taiwan Semiconductor's fabs. The winners if ARM takes off are ARM and TSM, Bryson explained. Then you don't have to pick who gets it right, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, AMD.